Hi, it's Mike Thornton from Pro Tools Expert and just doing a little quick video to show you some of the issues relating to uh, time compression expansion and its effect on processing speech and also the fact of where it's missing from Pro Tools 11. So the first thing I'm going to show you is two screenshots. The one on the left is the uh, preference menu in Pro Tools 10 and you can see that I've got a number of different options available to me including the DigiDesign Time Compression Expansion, Serato's uh, Pitch and Time Pro, Santoid Speed, um, Wave Sound Shifter, obviously the ones that aren't greyed out are plugins that I actually own and obviously finally DigiDesign's X Form. When we move over to the one on the right, you can see that the only one that isn't greyed out is the time shift. All the others are not currently available in Pro Tools 11, and in fact the DigiDesign time compression expansion isn't even in the menu. And uh, where this actually matters is if I go and right click in the trim tool, obviously we've got the standard trim tool, but also we've got a trim tool for time compression expansion. And I would often use this in radio so that when I go near the end of a region boundary with the smart tool on, I can adjust the length that I want a particular clip to be. And then when I let go, that will time compress and expand that particular region. So I'll just undo that. So we've got the original. So that's the issue uh, and that's the feature that uh, a lot of uh, guys in post are missing because although the DigiDesign time compression expansion algorithm is really old, uh, in fact it's really, really useful. So here I am in Pro Tools 11. Let's uh, play you uh, some different comparisons. So this one here is the original. Where Paul Robeson uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but uh, during the day it was a gymnasium for... And you can hear that that's uh, clean speech, it's got quite a bit of reverb, so it's actually quite a useful test to see how uh, efficiently the different uh, algorithms work. So this one here is the... We can see here that I've time compressed, uh, I've taken it down from 17 seconds to just on 14 seconds. So I've taken three seconds out of a 17 second clip. And uh, this is the only one that's available for me in uh, Pro Tools 11, the time shift uh, option. Uh, and this one, in fact, I processed using time shift within Pro Tools 10 uh, and set to the female vocal. So in fact, if we go into the preferences window in Pro Tools and we go into processing and time shift. So what I did is I set this time compression expansion uh, and I set the default setting to female vocal because obviously it's a woman speaking here. So that's what I set. And this is the result. Where Paul Robeson, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but during the day... And you can hear, especially around here, that there are quite a bit of artefacts, or low frequency sounds up here. Let me just play that again. Where Paul Robeson, he sang, he gave concerts... Uh... So not particularly good. So um, what I did in Pro Tools 10 is I set that um, default setting to the time compression expansion. And for the same... Uh, degree of time compression, this is the result. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but uh, during the day it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation. So you can hear that compared to the original... Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but uh, during the... There's absolutely no artefacts and it's just sped up which if you've got someone who's just a little bit laboured in their delivery is really, really useful. So uh, I did a number of other comparisons. So this one here is Serato's Pitch and Time Pro, at uh, the same level of uh, time compression. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but during the day it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation for the patients. So pretty good. There's just a little bit of low frequency artifact 
just about coming into that. So nevertheless pretty good, but of course uh, it's not an AX64 bit plugin at the moment, so not available to me in Pro Tools 11. Then this one here is uh, the time shift setting uh, that I just showed you, uh, and this one I did in Pro Tools 11. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but during the day it was a gymnasium for... And as one would expect, there are no particular differences in artifacts between the Pro Tools 10 version, this one here, and the Pro Tools 11 version. So finally, in Pro Tools 11, I set this to the stereo mix default settings, and this is the result that I got. Where Paul Robeson, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but during the day it was a gymnasium for... So in fact the artifacts on that are even worse. But even using the female vocal settings here, uh, the uh, result is still not acceptable. So certainly for me, and a no good number of uh, post people, to have the old DigiDesign time compression expansion setting would be really useful to have back because the results are very very good. Where Paul Robeson, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but during the day it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation for the patients because progress was being made now on industrial injuries, especially that of the minor.